welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Sunday, February the 4th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and I'm here to read the four selections of scripture that are chosen for today using the Revised Common Lectionary. That's a three-year plan to take us through the entirety of the Bible over uh, that space of time, following what's called the church year. Now, the church year begins at the beginning of um, Advent, which is the four weeks before Christmas, and then runs through the entire year. We're in the season after the Christmas time in Advent called Epiphany. So this is the fifth Sunday after the Epiphany. We're approaching Lent which is the time, of course, uh, coming up to the celebration of the crucifixion of Christ. So we are uh, going to read four passages of Scripture because it's a Sunday. Sundays always have an extra one. There'll be a reading from the Old Testament, a reading from a psalm, a reading from the New Testament, and a reading from a gospel. Beginning with Isaiah chapter 40, verses 21 to 31. Do you not know... Do you not hear? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to dwell in, who brings princes to nothing, and makes the rulers of the earth as emptiness. Scarcely they are planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth, when he blows on them and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom, then, will you compare me, that I should be like him, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and see who created these, He who brings out their host by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be and not faint. Our reading from the Psalms today comes from Psalm 147. I'll be reading verses 1 to 11, and then just a final praise the Lord, which comes from the last verse. Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make melody to our God on the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the beasts their food and to the young ravens that cry. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man, but the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. Our New Testament reading comes to us from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. So 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 16 to 23. The apostle writes, For if I preach the gospel, that gives me no ground for boasting, for necessity is laid upon me. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. 
For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am still entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my reward? That in my preaching, I may present the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew, in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, not being outside the law of God, but under the law of Christ, that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. Our final reading comes from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verses 29 to 39. And immediately Jesus left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever, and immediately he told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons, and the whole city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place. And there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. And Jesus said to them, Let us go on to the next towns that I may preach there also, for that is why I came out. And Jesus went through all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. And we praise you for the generous provision of it to us. Grant, merciful Father, that through the power of your Holy Spirit, these words may be written in our minds and on our hearts and in our very souls, wherein they can achieve in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Well, as always, friends, I want to commend you for taking just a few minutes out of your day to listen to the Word of God being read and I want to thank you because it's a blessing for me to be able to do this for you. Now, I've taken the references to the passages I just read. I've recorded them in the description area of this video so that you can look them up easily and spend your own time reading and pondering and meditating on the Word. And I do pray you'll do that. And I also pray uh, that you'll come again tomorrow uh, to this site and hear the scriptures that I will read for that day. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.